what a hit, and cars are flying everywhere. The Banshee gets tossed, can he land it? And after two complete spins, somehow the dragster lands it. Dune Crusher has to survive this hit. Welcome to the biggest crash competition around. It's the Junkyard Joust. Hi, everybody. I'm Aaron Yanda, and the competition is going to get fierce tonight. We've got five teams competing. Three are new. Two are returning teams with mostly new members. Feel free to pause the video here if you want to take a look at these cars. Otherwise, we're going to get right into it. See you on the field. We've had some ongoing drama with a Borg here at Junkyard Joust. Assimilated Winnebago became Winneborgo. And now the Borg has apparently assembled a new Tool Time team. There's one of the vehicles with the Borg in it. And this, I don't know what this abomination is. Apparently, Tim the Tool Man is back. I don't know how he's alive again. Apparently, the Borg has melded him into the vehicle. It'll be interesting to see that thing go down the track. We're starting off with the T1 panel bus sponsored by Ellis Wurtenberger for Crimson Crashers. Crimson well known for their ability to cut underneath other vehicles, but this one, I think, is their starter, so they've got something to protect against their own undercutting. First up for the Miscreants is going to be the Custom Dragster, sponsored by Stump's Tree Farm. Custom Dragster slams into the back of the T1, and everything is calm for the moment, but I bet something's going to happen when Tool again hits the back of that Dragster for Tool Time, sponsored by Regal Radio. Tool again sends the dragster flying up in the air over to the crates and the dragster. This reminds me of a dragster from a couple seasons ago. They have amazing abilities to flip around and land upright, and that's exactly what happens here. If I remember correctly, that was triple threat on the old Copperheads team. Amazing recovery. Up first for Prison Break, it's Vandetta, sponsored by Mark the Music Lover. Vandetta slams into Tooligan, and Tooligan, great job recovering, lands on the back of that wrench and stabilizes, manages to come down on his wheels, and he's going to survive the round. Sideways or upside down, and you are out. Dune Crusher for the Alabaster Aces, sponsored by Wolf of Fiber Art. Dune Crusher, a glancing blow off the back of Vandetta. Got the big tires and kind of high center of gravity. Not necessarily going to be a good competitor for Junkyard Joust, but we'll see what happens right now sideways on the track. Pontiac Banshee's up next for the Crasher, sponsored by Beak's Busted Barn Finds. A heavy hit from the Crusher, and Vandetta is knocked off the track. And look at that. The Dune Crusher spins around off the VW and lands it. Good recovery. No damage done by the Pontiac on that run. Time for another miscreant. Bad Medicine, sponsored by Bion Automotive. The Banshee is tossed up into the air, but look at that incredible landing. Flips over off the track and just does a great job of making it. Unfortunately, Bad Madison, after that great hit, just rides up and off the track and cannot stay upright. Grease Rod, now sponsored by Carlton Hill Enterprises. Grease Rod with the board, but the board goes right out of the vehicle, not belted in at all, and flips over and over. But the Grease Rod itself is doing good. This is an interesting team that the Borg has assembled. Next up for Prison Break is going to be Paradigm Shift, sponsored by Priceax Private Parts. Paradigm Shift pushes the Grease Rod up, and look at that. The VW is actually curbside right now. It's a dangerous position to be in, but the cars, other than that, are locked in. Up next for Alabaster, Formula Special, sponsored by Elder Grove. Formula Special tries to get under Paradigm Shift and gets part of the way under. I think loses some paint in the process. Or maybe that paint was off Paradigm Shift. I'm not sure, but somebody took some damage. Gazella GT now for the Crimson Crashers, sponsored by Hendrika's Heavy Hauling. Gazella slams into the pile of cars and pops Paradigm Shift up in the air. Paradigm Shift makes a nice recovery on top of Bad Medicine, and Grease Rod settles down pretty much off the track. Here's a cool looking car stiletto for the miscreant, sponsored by Judy Collins. Nice solid hit there by Stiletto, but can't get anything to happen. Looks like the board convinced Al to man the turret on Speed Driver, sponsored by TJG. And a massive hit, 70 grams, just sends all the cars off the track except for the VW up at the front. Stiletto is tossed and turned over. Gazella GT is tipped, and the Formula Special also in trouble. Wow, that was a devastating hit. Burlesque now for Prison Break, sponsored by Sloss Automotive Sachet and Buffet. 
Burlesque gets underneath Allen's speed driver and all 70 grams of that vehicle go flying right over the VW, lands upside down, looks like it's over and then something weird happens. The car tries to right itself kind of unnaturally and if I'm not mistaken, is that some sort of a tractor beam? It looks like that beam may have come from the Borg cube. If that's the case, the Borg's out of line right now using illegal means to try to influence the success of its own team. Well, it didn't work, but if the Borg tries that again, there is gonna be trouble. Up next, it's the 71 Mustang Funny Car, sponsored by Chome. Funny Car gets a good slam on Burlesque, but cannot get Burlesque underneath that VW. That thing is still not moving. That's gotta be one of the reasons Crimson Crashers drafted that vehicle. Porsche 962 now, speaking of the Crashers, sponsored by Jedi. Oh, what an undercut from the Porsche. Two cars flung up in the air. Both of them come down upside down. This is what the Crimson Crashers do best. Funny Car almost made a recovery there, but the crates prevented it. That was just devastating. I would guess they reached a height of five or six at least. We'll have the height bar back in the next match so we can measure these things. Tarantula is up now, sponsored by Swedenborg Smorgasbord. Tarantula gets right under the Porsche, but the Porsche is just a bit too heavy, and Tarantula not able to do to the Porsche what it did to the other two cars. Another member of the Borg's Tool Time team, Track Hammer, sponsored by Emo Dingo. A nice undercut there by Track Hammer gets Tarantula off the track, but doesn't manage to do any damage. Here comes the Scion XB, sponsored by Chemical Knight. The Scion pops the Tarantula down the line a little bit farther. Tarantula does not get tipped over. Looks like the Borg may have gotten a little run over on that one. Just desserts for attempting to cheat. Next up for the Aces is going to be Shadow Jet 2, sponsored by Bentley's Brakes and Bumpers. Shadow Jet goes right under the Scion, lifts it up and sits underneath it. Cannot get it quite off the track. And now the infamous Solaire for the Crimson Crashers, sponsored by Brandon Walsh, going to try to get under... Can't quite do it. A lot of cars moving right there, but Solaire can't get under Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet does manage to get underneath Track Hammer, though, and the Scion slides off to safety, so no damage on that one. Cherry Bomb for the Miscreant, sponsored by Wayland Enterprises International. Cherry Bomb gets underneath, wow, underneath Solaire and Shadow Jet. How did that happen? Just enough force to pick them both up, and now both those cars are in deep trouble. Every car on the track's in trouble now. Tim the Destroyer, 159 grams, sponsored by Sid from Cybertron. An absolutely punishing hit from Tim the Destroyer, living up to his name. Look at those cars go. Somehow Cherry Bomb stays on the track. Somehow Shadow Jet recovers, so Lair not so much. Feels like the Borg knew what it was doing when it made this monstrosity. Man, what a blow. Next up for Prison Break 69, Chevelle. The Chevelle hits the back of Tim the Destroyer and is barely able to get it to go down the track. That thing is so heavy, but it does manage to knock Cherry Bomb off the track, even at that slow pace and upside down. 17 Ford GT is up now, sponsored by Crow and Turtles Mini Painting. The GT gets under the Chevelle, but the Chevelle, nice wily recovery there, actually uses the trailer hitch on the Tool Time trailer to its advantage. And that is going to be the final car for round one. Very climactic round indeed. Looks like we lost nine cars in this round. Let's take a look at the aftermath. Miscreant sustaining the heaviest losses so far, three gone. Crimson Crashers lost two, as well as the Aces. Prison Break and Tool Time only lost one apiece. They are sitting pretty. If you're wondering what Picard and Cookie are getting up to, well, it looks like they're over in the parking lot. Maybe they are assembling a team. Well, if the Borg's got a team, it only makes sense that Picard would assemble his own fleet to try to counteract that. The Scion's going first in round two. Prison Break feeling pretty good about the results of round one. Tool time, also four cars left. Tooligan's going first. Tooligan slams into the Scion, but does not manage to get it off the track. They're lining up. 17 Ford GT now. 
A nice hit there, but Tooligan somehow managing to always land on his feet after hits like that. Must be something to do with that big wrench on there. Again, it feels like the board's machinations are really working well for this team. And now the GT is curbside. Crimson Crash is going to send down the panel bus first, as usual. Panel bus slams into the GT, and I couldn't even see what happened. It looked like it recovered, and now wait a second, look at this. It goes on two wheels and drives all the way over to the fence. We'll get a shot there. Oh yeah, knocked the fence over, but did manage to stay upright. Here comes the custom dragster. Get ready for some spinny, flippy action. Custom dragster slams into place behind the VW. Vendetta almost certainly going to send that car up in the air. And that's exactly what happens, and look at that. Two more flips, a perfect landing. Wow, that dragster has some serious agility. I think it wants a hit like that that sends it up in the air because it's always going to land upright. Got off the track just in time. Tim the Destroyer come down early this round. Vendetta reaches for the stars on this hit. Look at how high that thing goes and then makes a great bouncing recovery. The Scion not doing so well, but still on the track, so things are definitely not over for it right now. And Tim the Destroyer bounces off that VW and is now curbside along with the VW. A lot going on right there. Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet manages to get underneath Tim the Destroyer. Tim is tipping, but refuses to get off the track. I think it'll take another hit to get that thing fully off. It's gonna be a pretty heavy 40 gram hit from the Pontiac Banshee. The Banshee finishes the job. Tim the Destroyer knocked off the track, but look at that. He tips back again. I didn't see any sort of tractor beam, so I think that was legit. Pretty amazing considering that big trailer is on that vehicle. I, I don't know really how that thing managed to make a recovery. Tarantula for the Miscreants. Tarantula gets underneath the Banshee, and the Banshee goes upside down, but still on the track. Tool time tips over. Tarantula gets caught on the edge and flips sideways. Might be only the custom dragster left for the miscreants at this point. Next up, it's Paradigm Shift. Paradigm plows into Shadow Jet, but nobody's moving. The Scion, however, does jump off the track from just the force of the line of cars and lands upright over by Evil Weevil. Something interesting here, the officials are going to have to decide if Tim the Destroyer is sideways. It does not look like that would count as sideways. Track Hammer gonna attempt some more undercutting right now for tool time. Track Hammer gets right underneath Paradigm Ship. Paradigm Ship flips and flips, but its luck runs out, does not manage to get back upright. Staying upside down, and that is gonna be a loss for Prison Break. Next up, it's gonna be Dune Crusher. Dune Crusher gets on top of Track Hammer, lives up to its name, indeed doing some crushing right there. And here comes one of the most devastating undercutters I've seen in a long time, the Porsche 962. If you remember, this Porsche was actually on Crimson Crash's team, but as part of a different vehicle, it was the secret weapon for the Fleet Flyer last season, which got the Crimson Crashers to the finals. Another impressive hit, and cars are flying everywhere. The Dune Crusher, look at this. Goes all the way over to the crates, goes bouncing off Tooligan, and lands upright. Unbelievable. The Banshee's back upright, and that actually didn't do a whole lot of damage. A lot of action, though. Chevelle. The Chevelle goes sideways after hitting Track Hammer, gets backhammered, so to speak. Now that Chevelle's gonna have some work to do to get righted. The Borg is back and Grease Rod's going down. Grease Rod slams into the Chevelle and that's exactly what happened. The Chevelle righted itself. Borg falls out. Grease Rod actually saved that Chevelle because that was the final car of round two. And we are going out of this round with apparently only two vehicles eliminated. The judges have called Tim the Destroyer as not completely sideways. Which then begs the question, what is eliminated for that vehicle? Taking a look at the aftermath, Miscreants lost another one. They're down to just one, and Prison Break lost one. Tool time still at four. The Borg's master plan going quite well. 
We're gonna jump right into round three with Tool again for Tool time. Going down with this vehicle first. It's done a great job at surviving every time it gets tossed off the track. Let's see if he can keep it up. Crimson Crash are gonna send down their Bruiser vehicle, the panel bus. The bus takes its place, knocks Tooligan off the track. Tooligan again, a great recovery. Tooligan's good at getting off the track and getting off safely, and that makes it a really valuable asset. Up next, it's Doom Crusher. Doom Crusher slams hard into the back of the VW. Wow, did not expect that kind of force from that vehicle. The VW almost knocked off the track. It wobbles, but it does not fall off. The Scion. Scion pops Doom Crusher off the track. Doom Crusher loves to do these little flips, and man, it just keeps landing upright. I am impressed by that vehicle. No wonder there's only two eliminations in the last round. We've got a lot of good cars going. Speaking of good cars, Custom Dragster, the only car left for the Miscreants. It's been a good car so far, and it's got to continue to keep this team in the match. Curbside on that hit. And here comes the big one for Tool Time, Tim the Destroyer. Look out below. Tim only destroys the custom dragster, all the flipping, and it doesn't quite pan out this time. A bad flip into the crates is what is gonna potentially end custom dragster. And other than that, Tim the Destroyer not able to destroy those other two vehicles, too blocky, and they absorb the force of his hit. Crimson's gonna try to take out the big one with the Porsche. Can it do it? The Porsche can't even get under Tim the Destroyer. Pops him up in the air, but then Tim starts to move forward. So that did not pan out. That could end up being a bad move by Crimson Crashers. Here comes the Ford GT. The GT punches the Porsche off the track. The Porsche making a pretty smooth recovery right there. And now that GT is lodged underneath Tim. Let's see what Vendetta can do here. Vandetta bumps the GT forward, basically just pushes it more curbside and moves the whole line forward. Here comes Track Hammer. Track Hammer can't get underneath Vandetta. That's kind of surprising. And the GT is sort of smushed out the track. Manages to not flip over though. Tim actually prevented the GT from flipping. Pontiac Banshee's up next. You can tell from all that damage that this car has been through a couple of junkyard jousts throughout the years. Banshee knocks Vendetta out and off the track, upside down. Track Hammer just about turned sideways. That was a nasty hit by the Pontiac. Shadow Jet for the aces. Shadow Jet gets under the Banshee, but the Banshee just pops backwards, almost behind it. Would have been better to get off the track, but can't quite do it. Shadow Jet gunning for Tim the Destroyer. Here comes the Chevelle for Prison Break. The Chevelle slams into the Banshee. The Banshee pushed off and uses that nose to make a nice recovery. Shadow Jet still not able to get underneath Tim. Final car of the round, it's gonna be Grease Rod with the Borg. Grease Rod tries to get that Chevelle off and over, but cannot do it. And you can tell we got a good match on our hands right now. Only two cars eliminated in that round. One of them was a miscreant, so it looks like we're gonna lose a team. Let's take a look at the aftermath. Crimson Crasher is still at three. Miscreants are done and out of this match. Tool time still at four. Prism Break down to two and Alabaster still at three. It's great to see so many of these cars surviving. You know you got some good teams going here, and any of these teams would be great in the main event of the ones remaining, but only three of them can move on. Tooligan's in place, and now Alabaster's gonna send down Dune Crusher. Doom Crusher just slaughters Tooligan, but Tooligan still somehow, I think, manages to make a recovery. A lot of bouncing off the back of that wrench. Actually, mm, boy, that's iffy. It looks like that might still be a recovery despite being pushed up against the crates. Here comes the panel bus. Panel bus, a very light tap on the back of Doom Crusher, and Doom Crusher is actually still on the track. Just tosses Evil Weevil off to the side. Scion. Scion bounces off the back of the VW. Doom Crusher gets popped off, and look at that. Tooligan is recovered. Nobody eliminated yet. Here comes Grease Rod. Grease Rod hits the Scion. The Scion flips around, but manages to keep it centered and on the track. Borg goes flying all over the place. Borg really seems to enjoy this, I think. And the Scion stays alive. Shadow Jet. 
Shadow Jet slices under Grease Rod, and Grease Rod cannot make it happen. Turns upside down. And if it stays like that, it's gonna be out. Could finally be a second elimination for Tool Time. Here comes the Banshee. Banshee, nice hit, almost got under Shadow Jet there. The Scion pops backwards, but does not fall. Good hit, and now the Shadow Jet's curbside. Boar gets tossed. Chevelle. The Chevelle goes up and over the Banshee, and look at this, another elimination here in round four, potentially. And look who's coming down now. Destroyer's in the name for a reason. Tim the Destroyer, wow, did you see what happened to the Pontiac? It shoots off the track into parts unknown. Hopefully we'll be able to see where that landed. Oh yeah, there it is, over by the fence. And it's on the fence, actually. It's right side up, unbelievable. Ford GT now. The Ford sinks in behind Tim, and I just realized that when Tim went down the track, he somehow pushed Grease Rod back over again and saved his own teammate. The Porsche is gonna give this another try. Porsche gets under the GT and under Tim the Destroyer, but look at that! Tim the Destroyer refuses to go and just sort of waddles his way off the track. Man, it looks like the trailer is actually coming off there. Track hammer. Track Hammer scoots under the GT and almost gets the GT eliminated, but nice recovery there and a flip. That's gonna keep the GT in this match. Alabaster didn't lose a single car in this particular round. And because Tim saved Grease Rod, the only elimination in this round is gonna be the Chevelle for Prism Break. Quick look at the aftermath shows us that Prison Break just has the Scion left. Everybody else still in the same place as last round. We're heading on to round five. Tool Time looking really solid in this match right now. Four left, and they've been at that for many rounds. I don't really see how they're gonna take out Tim the Destroyer with the cars that are left in this match. BW Panel Bus going down next. Right now, Prism Break is looking like the weakest link. Ooh, wow, nasty hit. I guess I spoke too soon about Tool Time. Look at that. A car you didn't think was gonna get eliminated very easily just took a bad bounce flipped upside down if it stays like that. Good hit by the VW, Dune Crusher now. Dune Crusher slams into the back of the VW and just gets off the track. That is a great way to play Junkyard Joust. That is exactly what you want to do right there. The Scion, last chance for Prison Break to stay in this match. The Scion sends the VW bouncing around and the VW manages to stay in the track, so does the Scion. Track Hammer gonna try to get some undercutting here. Could end the Scion once and for all. And no, denied. Look at that. The Scion flips, goes upside down. That looks like it could be curtains, but then it rights itself and just drives as far away from the track as possible. That right there is gonna ensure that they stick around for another round. The Banshee. Banshee slams into Track Hammer, but Track Hammer makes a nice dismount and survives. Next up, it's Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet, a great hit on the Banshee, but look at this bounce by the Banshee. Just flips over twice and handles that recovery like a pro. It was a nice hit by the Shadow Jet, but it did not do the trick. Tim the Destroyer up now. So we asked the Borg to explain exactly how he rescued Tim from those zombies. He didn't really have an explanation, he just sent us this video clip. Okay, looks like some sort of multiverse. Maybe these are possible timelines or something. And there's Winnebago traveling in time. So the assimilated Winnebago was sent back in time by the Borg. Oh, to the moment that Winnebago saved Tim from the zombies. Now this is before Tim was actually overcome by zombies. And okay, now Winneborgo has Tim and is heading back into the transductional barrier, traveling back through time. Well, I guess that explains it. And as we've just witnessed, this thing is devastating. Look at that. Shadow Jet flipped up in the air. The VW turned off the track on its side. If that really is Tim, wow, he's gotta be happy about that. If there's any car that can destroy Tim, it's this Porsche. 
The Porsche wallops Tim the Destroyer, knocks him up in the air. Tim falls backwards and goes as sideways as that thing goes. Gonna have to get that thing upside down or more sideways in order to eliminate it. It looks like it's possible, just really difficult. And now the Ford GT is gonna take a crack at that Porsche. The GT takes the Porsche right off the track and lo and behold, the Porsche flips over and is gonna be eliminated. Man, that was a big car for the Crimson Crashers. Nasty hit there by the GT. The Borg is back and there's gonna be trouble. Grease Rod slams into the GT and whoopsie, look at what happened there. The board goes flying out and Grease Rod just flips right upside down. That GT has been causing damage all over the place. The most unassuming car, I never would have expected it to take out two big hitters like that. And that is gonna take Crimson Crashers down to just one car, Tool Time down to two, Prison Break down to one still, and Alabaster still at three, now looking like a powerhouse. We are heading into round six, and it's anybody's match right now. Alabaster, though, looking the best. Dune Crusher takes position down at the bottom of the track. Alabaster have been very consistent in this match. I am extremely impressed by their performance. Tool Time was looking unstoppable, and now they're down to two. Here comes Track Hammer. Track Hammer gets underneath Dune Crusher, gets a little nudge off the track. Dune Crusher pretty much off the track. Crimson devastated in that last round. Only remaining car is the Banshee. This thing's a veteran. The Banshee hits the Dune Crusher and the Dune Crusher spins away to safety. Another survival by that Dune Crusher. Prison Break staying alive with just the Scion. The Scion slams into the Banshee. The Banshee flips off the track and as usual, nice recovery. Keeping Crimson Crashers in this match. Shadow Jet gonna try to do some damage. Shadow Jet just politely knocks the Scion off the track and can't get an elimination. Well, if anyone's gonna get an elimination this round, it's gonna be Tim the Destroyer. Tim savages his own teammate. Track Hammer gets tossed up in the air because of Shadow Jet being poised right there and Tim accidentally taking down his own teammate. Wow, that was unfortunate. Tool Time gonna regret that decision. Ford GT. Ford's the final car from this round. Just a little push to Tim the Destroyer, who's got to be regretting what just happened. Only elimination for that round is going to be on tool time, and it was by their own hand, more or less, in concert with Shadow Jet. Taking a look at the aftermath, we've got three teams at one car apiece. This is really close, folks. Alabaster still at three. Alabaster liking to send down Doom Crusher first, and it's been working for them. Ooh, Doom Crusher takes a weird bounce off Evil Weevil and gets his front end over the side of the track. Probably still gonna be okay, but this is a little unusual. Scion. Scion slams into the Doom Crusher, and again, Doom Crusher, even going up against the crates, doesn't stop it from making an amazing recovery. Here comes the Banshee. Banshee trying to take out that Scion, but just smashes straight into the brick wall and bounces back. And here comes Tim. He's got a chance to do some serious damage right now. Tim annihilates both cars on the track, but it's not enough. Look at the Banshee make that spinning, flipping recovery all the way over to the crates, and it's gonna turn over after bouncing off the crates, and the Scion just refuses to even be toppled. Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet cannot move the monster. And now Alabaster's got to send down two of their own in a row because they got three left. And everything is fine and dandy. They did that in the right order. And there are not going to be any eliminations despite all the stuff that happened in that round. So what does that mean? You guessed it. The cars are going to have to start increasing their speed so we can get some eliminations. Got to have a winner in this match. Got to eliminate one of these teams. Dune Crusher is going to start out with the increased speed. Dune Crusher, wow. Increased speed causes the vehicle to completely turn around on the track and face the other direction, ready for an opponent. Tim the Destroyer will be that opponent. 
Tim manhandles Dune Crusher, and Dune Crusher's not worried about it. That thing just bounces around and smiles and takes it. Scion. Scion didn't think Scion was gonna do much to Tim the Destroyer, but actually almost gets him sideways on the track. He's a little precarious right there. Good hit. The Banshee. Banshee gets Tim off the track, but can't do a whole lot else. We're still looking for an elimination here. Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet gets under the Banshee, but it's not much of a hit, and the Banshee just pops right off. And the 4GT. The 4GT, wow, that was close. Shadow Jet got underneath the Scion, but the Scion is stubborn. Refuses to go off the side. That was the final car of the round. The increased speed did not manage to get an elimination. So yeah, we're gonna increase this speed even more. Here we go, this is round nine, folks. This has been a crazy qualifier. It's not often we get to this many rounds. Wow, Dune Crusher's going so fast it flipped upside down and then righted itself and landed on the track still. And here comes the Banshee, been told to let it loose here. Banshee speeds down the track and wow, what a hit. They both glance off of each other. Dune Crusher flips and flips and goes upside down. Banshee, both of these vehicles have made amazing recoveries throughout this entire match, but the increased speeds proved to be their downfall, both of them getting turned over. All the Scion has to do is survive. And a good hit there, it stays on the track. Prison Break have a chance to move to the main event if Scion can just keep it going. Scion's gonna have to survive a big old hit. Tim the Destroyer, man oh man, look at that, flips the Scion around. The Scion does not leave the track. That vehicle doesn't care what you do, it will just stay around. Wow, what a hit and what an amazing turnaround. Here comes Shadow Jet. Shadow Jet, just a little punch there, but not much it can do to that heavy vehicle. The teams moving on to the main event are gonna be decided right here, for GT. The Ford hit Shadow Jet cannot get Tim the Destroyer over and sideways, and that is gonna do it, folks. What an incredible match. With the elimination of the Pontiac Banshee, we've got our three finalists, Tool Time, Prison Break, and the Alabaster Aces. Here are your survivors and the winning teams that will go on to the main event. Let me know which team you are most excited about in the comments. And don't forget to like if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe, I'd love to have you. And we'll see you next week on Junkyard Joust. Thanks for watching, everybody.